Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody doing out there today? So, another Commander Legends booster box. I just like opening these. I think there's a lot of really good cards in the set. And, I mean, if you get the extended or uh, Jewel Lotus, you pretty much pay for the box and then some. So, there's that chance that you could come out huge with one of these boxes. So, I like opening them. <laughs> uh, and there's just so many good cards. And... You really only need one of each out of this set because they're all commander cards. So that's another good bonus. Uh, you don't need play sets of each like I usually try and get because I'm crazy like that. Oh, we got to pull the out of the box before we put the box to the side, don't we? All right, so let's get back in here, see what we get. So if we pull a Jewel Lotus, Mana Drain, Vamp Tutor, so many good cards in the set. I think this is a... This is a set that's shocking me. I mean, the EV in the boxes <laughs> is incredible. But these boxes are still holding, and all these other boxes that the EV is terrible keep skyrocketing in price. It's like, what? what? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's weird. Court of Ambition, and Numa, and Miara, and a Flow War Room right off the bat. There we go. Flow Rare, first pack, and a Golem token. All right. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that the boxes, the box price on these are holding, but like Strixhaven is, you know, well, Strixhaven is not really going up too much, but the collector's boxes from Strixhaven are, and, you know, uh, Time Spiral is going up and all that, and, and it's just like, this one has so many more valuable cards in it. Uh, Course of Recruiter, and nothing there, and a full common, and Angel Token. So, I mean, yes, these boxes are a little bit more of a gamble because it is all about the big hits. But, I mean, when you really look at it, I mean, there's a lot of good commons and uncommons in this set, too. So, there's a lot of just staples all throughout the set. It's just the prices are tanked on those particular cards right now because they're so easy to get at the moment. Chromus Will and a Queen and a Silverback Shaman and a Soldier. So, I think it's just... A matter of time, these boxes are going to prove to be a big deal. I mean, this is a Commander Master set, basically, <laughs> you know? Uh, and it's the last kind of specialty set that has a decent price range on it, most likely. Sakashima's Will. We want the actual Sakashima. Quirk. Sears Lantern. And a Piper. And a Copy Token. So I think, uh, I think these boxes are going to be surprising everybody in the future. I think the price on these is going to kind of slowly, I don't know if it's going to slowly kind of ascend up or if all of a sudden people are going to realize how good the product is and how and then there's not much of it left and then the price are going to skyrocket overnight. Hellkite Courser for our first Mythic because somebody will do a video about how undervalued they are and then boom. Uh, anyway, and a common foil and a treasure token. <laughs> Seems to happen like that. Some reason, whenever he says there's a box that's undervalued, the box will jump up within hours of that video. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. Stop doing that. Uh, Armored Sky Hunter, <laughs> Nimbus, and another full common Salamander Warrior. <laughs> Possibly the funniest token ever. Yeah, not the funniest, just the, uh, no, the most swamp thingy token ever. How about that? Uh, swamp thing. That was a funny move. All right, moving on. Necrotic Hex. And nothing in the back. Common foil. Soldier token. All right. We're off to a slow start, but I have faith that we're going to get something juicy in this box eventually. Just got a feeling. Sing the song. Go ahead, sing it. Ember Wild Captain. And the foil Burnished Heart. Treasure token. All right. Third of the way through the box already, and we got one mythic. What's going on here? Uh, we need to get some spiciness down here, please, sir. If it's not too much trouble to ask. Never rolls disc, that is not it. And the cow and full zombie token. Hey, where's all the good stuff? Jeez. They're saving the uh, best for last, hopefully. And we're going to have a great close to the video. Blade Griff Prototype, and wow. Copy token. 
So, as I was saying, these boxes are a bit of a gamble. <laughs> I have seen boxes that just didn't really pull much of anything, and I've seen boxes that were pretty epic. So, I think the first, like, two or three boxes I opened all had mana drains in them. <laughs> Austere Command, Kodomo of the East Tree, and we got our first etch Spoil, the Falthless Shadow Cat Familiar, and a Piper, and a Treasure Token. So, yeah. Where's the good stuff at? I'm not sure. It's supposed to be here, but it's not here. All right. There we go. I knew there was a hit in here somewhere. Vamp Tutor. That's pretty crazy. I, I, I couldn't pull one of these for like four or five boxes, and now I pulled two in a row. Ah, I love that card. All right. So now we're looking up a little bit. Dragon Token. That's pretty cool. I think the dragon token might actually be worth something. <laughs> this set, I don't know, one of the sets, the dragon tokens are actually worth a few bucks. It's kind of funny. All right. Hey, get in there, Peck. Jeez. Work with me a little. Work with me. And Elvis Dreadlord, Nostro, and Archaeologist Robbers. Uh, Sex Rock Shasher the Beach. Uh, anyway. Rakshasha Debaser. Say that ten times fast. Say it once. I can't even say it once. Four rares in one pack. Can't beat that. That was pretty neat. Not all of them are really expensive rares, but four rares in a pack is not a bad thing. No bad at all. All right, so we're starting to step it up a little bit. Got the Vamp Tutor. Four rares in a pack. Uh, what else we got? Sakashima's Protege. Again, not the Sakashima we're looking for. Nevin Roll. And Command Tower. Well, that's pretty cool. Copy Token. All right, we're almost two thirds of the way through the box. The Vamp Tutor pays for like half the box, though. So <laughs> that one card, and that's the cool thing about this this product is that one card can really pay for the whole box. Magistrate, and nothing in the back. Uncommon foil, and a Monarch token. That's cool. All right, last pack is pack number two. Two thirds of the way through the box. We've only got two mythics. What's going on with that? Two mythics and like what, three rare foils already. Two, two rare foils. I don't know. We'll count them up at the end. Court of Cunning and Bell Borka. Or something at the beginning, not so much anymore. And a couple of bent cards. Uh, can we see that? Yeah, there you go. A couple of bent cards in the back. Nice. Foil common and a zombie token with bent corners. All right, last stack. Last throw of the box. Hopefully we go out with a bang here because we're kind of shy on mythics so far. There's got to be a few mythics in this last stack. Court of Ire. And so far nothing. Elf Warrior. What is going on? Where's the mythics? Mythics, hello. We're waiting for you. Yeah. Bowie's Blob. What the? What? Where? Where are they? We can't go an entire box of two mythics. Come on. I don't know one of them's a great mythic still. We can't go an entire box of two mythics. That's just that's a that's a mess up right there. <laughs> Command Beacon and Belby. And a common foil and a monarch token. Where's the mythics? Alright, two, three, four, five. All five of these need to be mythics. <laughs> For this to be an average box. What's going on? Like five to six mythics should be average on a kind of lackluster box. Seven should be on a decent box. Another war room. Oh yeah, I forgot about the duplication. And holy cow, where's the mythics? Four packs left. We, we seriously need a mythic in every pack to make this a standard, an average box. What is going on here? Where are they? Horizon Zone and... A Lathiel and a rare Edge Spoil, Archelos, and a Treasure Dome. Seriously? Three packs left? We only got two Mythics? Did I miss a Mythic for 10? What's going on here? Um, hello? Sweet Gum Recluse, and nothing. And a Soldier Token. Two packs left. We only got two mythics. This is going to go down as the box with the least amount of mythics ever. 
what is going on here? This is not right. Something is amiss. There we go. Archon of Coronation. Terrible mythic, but at least it's mythic. All right. This is his ring. Copy. And last pack. There needs to be a mythic in this pack, because three mythics is pathetic. Four mythics is pathetic. Three mythics is just beyond pathetic. That's like an error box or something. What's going on here? And no. Rings of Bright Hearth. And Jared. <laughs> and... We ended up with a three mythic box. Did I miss something? Did I miss a mythic? There's got to be a mythic or two in here. How is that even possible? There's no mythics. Oh my god, it's a three mythic box. Is there a foil mythic? No, I remember foil rares. Uh, nope, that's not coming. Okay, so we got a foil rare there. Fall rare there. Okay, so two fall rares, the war room and the debaser. And three mythics. One of which is a vamp tutor, which is nice. So we got the vamp tutor, the hellkite courser, and the archon of coronation. But three mythics in the entire box. Maybe that's why the price is still kind of holding. Archelos and Felthus for our etched foils. And wow, I don't think I've ever seen a box in recent memory that only had three Mythics in it. So there you go. There's a first. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below on that one. Uh, check out the description below. There's a lot of good links in there. Save you money on your purchases. Get your cash back in your purchases. Good deal on Magic Cards. And uh, my uh, Patreon link, my eBay link, my email. If you want to hit me up about sponsoring a video or buying singles, my actual address, if you want to send me something open on camera, all those links down there, free money. Click a couple of them. You might be surprised how much you like them. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. What do you think of a three mythic box? That is, that's weird. Anyways, you guys have a great night. Thank you. Bye.